This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University. This Sunday, July, I believe 26, 6 p.m., we're going to have a webinar, How to Turn an Established LLC into an S-Corp Holding Company. There are many of you who have come to me and like, hey, you know, can I turn my established LLC into a holding company? And the answer is yes, you can. But there is a certain format, a certain level of sequences that you must go through to properly do this. All of this will be addressed and you can go ahead and uh, participate, the, w participate in the webinar hitting the link below. So with that, let's get to the video. You know, today I was thinking about rent seeking and I was just looking at the number of YouTube, Facebook advertisements that are all aimed at you making a lot of money without an exchange of value for service. Like it was interesting. I was listening to earn your leisure and they had a guy on there who actually hates Forex and who actually hates day trading. It was very interesting because this is one of the hottest YouTube topics. If you have any experience doing Forex and there's one guy that I watched because he actually tells the truth. He said it took him five years to learn how to trade Forex, five years. And that was like, oh, okay, that's a little different because most of the time they're just sitting there like, look, I could teach you how to make Forex and make it the pips, pips to pay your bills in a few weeks. And the reality is I know a few Forex traders. I know a few day traders. I know, and I used to actually date someone who was a day trader and she said it took her years to learn how to day trade. And this is one of the things that is missing from the messaging and the advertisement of these programs. You know, I, I had a consult call the other day and the guy was talking about it and I said, look, you know, if you're willing to do two to four years to learn how to trade, and th this is this is the thing because see this is the deal with rent seeking now can you make money rent seeking and also for the purpose of this video rent seeking is creating money without an exchange of value without exactly doing nothing this is what happens when you, actually when you buy stock you actually have to do something you have to spend money when you do forex you're tr you got a little money in the market and you're trying to extract a lot of value out of the market without putting it back in. And essentially, I've just noticed that there's this whole trend. It's like re rent seeking an American pastime. People are trying to get paid without an exchange of value, without building anything, without creating anything. And it's just gotten out of hand because here's the thing when you rent seek it's going to be much harder than when you exchange value like let me give me an example a resale you go to the garage sale you pay the garage seller x amount of dollars for some merchandise then you take the merchandise and you flip it on ebay amazon macari whatever facebook marketplace and you get money and it's pretty easy to do that but when you're trying to rent seek, there is a serious learning curve. I saw an advertisement like, hey, how to invest in real estate without using your own money, no credit. Uh, if you're not spending any money or using, are you really an investor or are you a rent seeker? Uh, one of the biggest things uh, that's going on is wholesaling the real estate which essentially you find someone with a distressed property that is willing to take less than what the property is worth. So you can flip it to someone and then you can extract a differential or a margin from that deal and wholesaling. Most people who try to wholesale fail. This is one of the things that you, you don't hear with the Forex, the day trading, wholesaling. Can you make a grip of money with wholesaling? Let me go ahead and give you the recipe for wholesaling because I actually met recently met a wholesaler who's been doing it for 15 years. And you know what? He said his advertising budget is $20,000 per month. 
he spends twenty thousand dollars per month getting leads he said that's the hardest part about this is getting the leads and you got to advertise and then you know x amount of the leads fall through you don't and I, i'm just sitting there like you know rent seeking is always you know uh if you rent seek you can make money i'm gonna be honest about that but the number of people who are rent seeking fail in comparison to the number of people who are creating value and building businesses because Right now, I understand, you know, people are, I'm just keeping it up, people lazy. People just lazy. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to, it was like, look, I just want to hang out with Big Booty Betty. I just want to chill. I want to get up when I want to. I want to have this time freedom. And I, I just want to do what I want to do with my day. But part of this is, and I understand that because I'm in that position. I get to do with my day what I want to do with my day for the most part. But it took me years to get here. And this this is part of the message that is missing, that you've got to pay your dues, learn the game, learn how to put stuff together. And it's just gotten crazy because if I see one more rent seeking commercial, I'm going to scream because I it, intimately, I know the number of people who are going to try to do it. They're going to fail. Look at the number because uh, Reddit, uh, you can go to quorum and look up and the, the, like the number of people who day trade Forex who make money. Uh, it is really different. And this is to be different than sitting at a currency desk as a job where you're paid to analyze currency. That's a whole different game. But many retail people are trying to become day traders, uh, Forex traders. And, you know, I actually had someone in the comment who was like, you know, Forex is great. You should try it. And I'm like, why are you trying to get me to leave what I know makes money to do something that I would hope to make money? Um, honestly, I'm probably going to do some Forex experiment experiments for Savage Finance. Uh, probably do a day trading experiment for Savage Finance, but I am not going to abandon a proven money maker to get into one of these day trading Forex schemes because you know I, I have no problem doing the work in exchanging. Um, value for money. I have no problem with this. Like, uh, you know, ultimate money is going really, really well. It's a new course. I have no problem doing the work, but rent seeking is an American pastime. People are looking for ways to make a lot of money with little to no exposure without doing anything. And it, it's, it's become insane. The number of folks who want to get some, cause here, here's the thing. When you're day trading Forex and you know, time is passing, whether you're actively working on something or not, time is passing. You're getting older, you know, in 10 years, I'll be 63 years old. And that 10 years is gonna come a lot quicker than I think. So that's why I'm actively working on some stuff. But for me, just like you, time is going to pass you're going to get older and you should be working on something durable and solid than one of these rent seeking schemes because statistically the odds are against you statistically the odds are against you uh i think one of the most sanest safest rent seeking schemes is buying the stock but once again, you still have to commit X amount of dollars to stock to realize dollars in stock. So you got to spend some money. So you still have to do something. And I think one of the most extreme rent seeking schemes is wholesaling. Everybody wants to get in wholesaling. Uh, let, let me let me tell you something. If you're watching a wholesaling YouTube channel or you're watching uh, a financial, you know, a Forex channel, understand that these YouTube channels have extremely high CPMs. Max Maxwell, um, I think he talked about 
he was making fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month from his YouTube channel. That is not inconsistent. That that's not in. That's not insignificant. I mean, you know, fifteen. You get to fifteen k per month off of your YouTube channel. That's one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars a year from home. This is money you're making from home. That's really good income. So when you're watching these, you know, and like, uh, wouldn't that consider Shopify drop shipping, rent seeking? Cause you have to spend money to get the store. You have to spend money to get the products. You have to spend money advertising. So I wouldn't say that was rent seeking. I would say that creates time freedom. That's something you can systemize, but I'm here to tell you, most of you rent seekers are going to fail. There will be some who will be successful. There will be some who will be making crazy money and they'll put together a course. And next thing you know, they're going to try to induce you to rent, rent seek. Cause like I said, uh, with Savage Finance, I am doing things, all things financial. Uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. I may release this Thursday. I, I don't know. I don't know because I got a, a really good uh, video that's coming up. No credit check line of credit. That should be really, really good. But one of the things I want you to understand is if you want to make some money, put it in your head that you want to create an exchange of value because it's going to be easier for you to get the money. Like, like I said, I'm be honest. There are some people who do rent seeking who do very, very well. They can make a lot of money. They can, um, it just works out. But the vast majority of people who are doing Forex, day trading, wholesaling, fail. The vast majority, because they don't know the game and they don't stick with it long enough to see the money. Cause you know, essentially, uh, the guy I met who was wholesaling, he said it took him like eight months to get his first deal. So these things can work, but you got to do you got to do the work and this is a big big problem for many 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 people because so many folks want to just get money have no responsibility have no employees have no burdens have no hassles and just go ahead and get the pure money out of the marketplace without really doing anything and once again to be fully honest it can be done but it's hard it's really, really hard. And it's just going to be easier to create a service or product where you can exchange value to get that money. I'm just here to tell you. So that's all I got. So for you folks who are not rent seeking, go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Go below, get that. So you can begin establishing your non -re -seek rent seeking enterprise and make you some money. And if you need any help, I also have a multitude of consulting packages below the video. So that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to watch this next video.